Welcome back, everybody, to Give Me a Break. This is Mr. K of K Family Rips. And in this special video, we are going to do a dedication to some oddball cards. And this is going to be in conjunction with a um, contest that, uh, that Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards is having right now. Um, he's running a contest um, of people to do a video and show off some of their oddball cards and he's going to have a drawing um, sometime in December. I think the deadline for his contest is December 15th to have a video submitted. So I'd show you his business card, but I don't know if he wants me to um, show his phone number or his address. So I'm just going to hold off there. But his channel is a great channel. He posts something about once a week. A lot of uh, vintage oddball stuff that he has in his collection. Um, he currently has 858 subscribers. He is he is growing, and he is just really enjoyable to uh, to watch. So if you have not subscribed to him, I would recommend him uh, wholeheartedly to do so. You'll enjoy the material that he has. So I'm just going to go through a couple couple things here real quick. Um, didn't really have too much time to dig into um, stuff that I have in boxes and other places. This was kind of the easiest stuff that I was able to get a hold of. So this is just a, kind of a sample of some of the oddball stuff that I have. Uh, I'll start off with a Ty Cobb. This is a 3D card. It was part of a set. Um, it was issued in 1970, actually, by uh, MLB Promo Corp. Exograph. So I believe I do have the entire set here, but this is a loose one, kind of not in uh, the very best condition, but it's of Ty Cobb, one of my favorite players with his uh, classic uh, batting stance there with the, with the hands apart. And he did that, um, he said, uh, for uh, better control and placement of the baseball. And this one is a uh, also a 3D card, a part of a set. And I actually, I do have a complete set of this in pretty good shape. This is a 1968 um, Exograph as well. And this is Denny McLean. And, of course, he won uh, the 30 games, um, 31 games, actually, for the Tigers back in 68 when they won the... Uh, uh, pennant and World Series beating the Cardinals coming back from a 3-1 deficit in games to win in seven So we got a little mark there, but uh, this is kind of a um, a rougher condition card, but uh, um, I'm fortunate to I actually I think I bought that set back in the mid 70s So it's uh, very crisp those cards bow as you can tell so they easily crack, so you got to keep good care of them. This is a Keynes potato chip product, Walt Terrell for the Tigers, and it's still in its original wrap. Um, not exactly sure if this was just stuck into a bag of chips or how I got this, um, but it's snack time, Keynes potato chips, and we actually have a, had a Keynes potato chip plant in the city that I live. It's uh, no longer in operation but Keynes was a big producer of potato chips okay we have this card this is a kind of a cartoon World Series set um, the Laughlin set 1968 and I remember getting these these must have been on the market past 68 because um, I remember g getting these in packs at a little grocery store um, that I passed uh, on the way home from elementary school. So I've got um, a few of these. Okay, this one is a nice one that I purchased back in the um, 70s or 80s. It's a complete set of these, 1973 Pro Superstars, um, uncut sheets or they're uh, in strips of three and there's there's some of the other ones there and I am not sure if these were Kellogg or not I'm kind of fuzzy on that because I'm pretty sure Kellogg did one year 
that was not 3D, um, but I will have to check on that. So there we have uh, Cesar Cedeno, Bob Gibson, and uh, Sparky Lyle. And then on the other side, we have Tony Oliva, Don Sutton, and Pete Rose. And it was listed at $54.50. I'm not sure if that's what I paid for it um, 40 years ago or not, but I doubt that. But there is that. Here's a couple other ones. We'll try to go through these real quick. This is a craft issue, Cecil Fielder. Um, and I'm not sure if this is like a pop-up card or not. I'm not going to open it. Uh, craft singles, so I don't know if this was inserted in cheese or not. Don't remember. French's mustard. This was hung on the mustard bottle, and you got three cards, uh, 18 all in the set, and this is still sealed. And here's the back of one of them, and it's got Cal Ripken and Ozzy Smith on it. So I'm not sure if I have any loose ones of these or not, but this is a sealed uh, sealed pack, and I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Here is a Captain Crunch card of Will Clark. Um, not sure if this was in the serial or not, um, but uh, this was produced by Topps, um, but it was... Uh, solely produced for Captain Crunch cereal. Okay, some other ones. These are all Kirby Puckett ones that I just pulled out of a Kirby Puckett um, box. This is another disc. Um, uh, let's see, read the back. It's uh, Genuine King B, and I'm not exactly sure what if this was an ice cream top or what it is from. But uh, definitely an oddball card there. This uh, is a oddball card from a sports card magazine. 1990 Baseball Cards magazine. So this must have been part of a page that you could cut out. And I got a bunch of different... They did it kind of uh, throwback years um, before the throwback uh, um, thing was popular with Tops right now. Here is a couple game deck cards. This is produced by um, the U.S. Playing Card Company. This is from 92. And here's another one. Ignore the sticker there. This was just put into a makeshift sleeve. That's also the U.S. Playing Card Company. This is 1990. Uh, this is a Kirby Puckett uh, issue for KB, and there's a the back of it, and I'm not sure if Topps did this one or uh, I can't tell. It doesn't say Topps. It says T-I-L on it, but definitely an oddball card there, Superstars of Baseball. This is a uh, actually a phone card, $10 phone card produced by Classic. And there is the back. Um, I have not tried it to see if it's got any minutes on it. So if any of you want to try to do that, um, feel free. This is a Jimmy Dean Kirby Puckett card from 1993. And there is a back with uh, what's supposed to be an artist rendition of Kirby Puckett. And I don't see who produces this card but is definitely an oddball card. We will stick that up here. Um, more Kirby Puckett. This is a Collective Books series of Kirby Puckett. Um, and there's the back, and you can open it up. You can see it uh, folds out. I'm not going to take it out of the uh, protective sleeve right now, but uh, that's an, another oddball for, for Kirby. And... Um, Classic uh, cards I would consider oddball. Um, they produced uh, cards as part of a game set, uh, many different years, kind of a travel set. And this is this is Kirby's card, and these came in various colors issued uh, over the years that they produced them. So that is a little sampling of some of the uh, oddball cards that I have that I was able to get a hold of. 
um, maybe if Rick does uh, another uh, um, shout out for people to, to do another video like this, I will um, have have more time to try to pull some stuff out. But uh, um, a lot of stuff is boxed up and uh, I can't get to it. So this is what was available. So I thank you for joining me in this video. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and the notifications bell, and you'll get a heads up when we have posted new material. And also remember to check out uh, Vintage Oddball Cards. Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards has a um, wonderful channel there. And if you have not subscribed to him, I would recommend you do, do so. You'll learn things um, about... Uh, the players and about some of the history of the cards as well. So once again, thanks for joining us and until next time, please take care.